Hi, my name is Tim, Boys and Girls Clubs of Providence, Wanska Branch. Today we're going to talk about passing, basic passing skills. We've already worked on basic dribbling and shooting skills, and I hope you've been working on them. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about passing. Okay, passing is the most important part of the game. Why? Because basketball is a team game, and passing moves the ball quicker than the defense can adjust, and it will give your teammates easy shots, which is what you want. I know, in pickup games, you go, nobody passes the ball, nobody wants to pass the ball, all anybody wants to do is shoot, and if you pass the ball, you're afraid you're never going to get it back. But the reason you work on passing now is because someday you want to play organized basketball with a crowd and with coaches and teams and all that, and you're going to have to be able to pass the ball then, okay? So what's a, what's a good pass? A good pass is a pass that somebody, your teammate, can catch. And techniques. Okay, good balance like always. Hold the ball in your fingers and your thumb like you usually do. Okay, um, and step towards your target. Okay, good balance and step towards your target will give the pass more power. Okay, and you'll be able to do it quickly without the defense being able to even tell you're going to pass. Okay, let's talk about some basic passes. The first one, chest pass. Okay, it's just like what it sounds like. From your chest, and you're aiming at the other person's chest. It's when everything's wide open, and all you need to do is get them the ball. It looks like this, right? If you notice, I step, and I follow through. When I follow through, the backs of my hands are against each other, and my thumbs are pointing towards the ground. Now, a bounce pass is next. A bounce pass is used when you don't think a, pa a regular chest pass will get there, you throw it at the ground so that it's very hard for the other team to steal it. And you don't throw a bounce pass from up here, you throw exactly the same way as a chest pass, but you aim at the floor, about 75% of the distance, or a little more than half, towards, the, towards your target. Okay, another pass is a two-hand overhead pass, which is used to throw the ball a little further where you can't reach with it with a chest pass or a bounce pass. And the way you do that is balls over your head, two hands on the ball, not all the way behind your head, too easy to steal. And you use your back for power and your legs and you step and you snap towards the target. Now, some sort of like tricky passes. One is a wraparound pass. Once you learn to use your pivot foot, okay, you can use your body as a shield and put your hand out and wrap the ball around with one hand and pass it to your target. Another one is the behind the back pass. It looks like that. That you use only when you have to. Now, if you don't have anyone to practice with, use the wall. Aim at spots on the wall for accuracy. So you Practicing. Good luck.